In this short video, I'm going to show you how to plan, script, and record an entire month's worth of social media content in just a few hours. Let's do this. Now, after working with more than 100 clients and creating more than 1,000 videos myself, I know how hard it is to create a lot of video content. I think for most people, it's not that they don't have experience. It's just how do they take all of that experience and boil it down into one or several different videos that they can just sit down, look into the camera, and record. Now, to help you out today, I'm going to break this video up into two different sections. One is to help you think through pillars, topics, subtitles topics and the different types of videos that you can do to help you do your planning. And then I'm going to help you take all of that and then actually generate scripts from that content in a tool called Airtable to make it as seamless as possible. So you can just sit down, batch record all those videos for the entire month and be done with it. So when you first sit down to think about your content strategy, I usually start to think in pillars. What are the three main pillars of topics that you talk about? And for each one of those pillars, come up with four different subtopics. And then for each topic, come up with six different subtopics. Now, the first time you do this, this is going to take a little bit of thought, but once you've ironed this out, it's going to last with you for years. You're not going to have to touch this every week when you go to sit down and record content. So spending a little bit of time to map this out is well worth it. And then as we create different types of videos from the pillar topics and subtopics, there are really three different styles of videos that I tend to record. I will talk a little bit more about these three different styles of content later when I get into scripting. So let's go ahead and jump into Airtable where I'm going to organize all of these pillars, topics, subtopics, and all the scripts that we're going to create for recording our videos. So I have been building out an Airtable database, which is going to help me do a lot of different things with content. In this case, though, we're going to focus in on the creation of video scripts. So you can see here, just like an Excel spreadsheet, I have different tabs related to different things. We've got pillars, topics, subtopics, and scripts. You can see under pillars, I have those three different types of pillars. So you can go ahead and enter those in. For myself, I have business, mindset, and social media. And then for each pillar, I have four subtopics, and you can see those there. And for myself, for business, I have product, team, revenue, and systems. For mindset, I have fear, imposter syndrome, limiting beliefs, and goals. And then for social media, I have content creation, funnels, building brand, and social platforms. And then for subtopics, remember we have six for every topic. I'm not going to go through all of them, but you can see under my business pillar, under revenue, I have pricing, digital products, paid ads, outbound, inbound leads, and profit. And under systems, I have Airtable, simplicity, automation, workflows, SOPs, and storage. And then I also have a column here for month. And what that month category lets me do is it lets me take any of these subcategories and plan it into a particular month where I want to talk about that topic. So if you wanted to talk about revenue for a whole month, you could do that. If you wanted to talk about systems for a whole month, you could do that as well. Or you could break it up like I've done here where I'm talking about inbound leads in March and also automation and workflows. And then in April and May and these other months, I'm talking about these topics. It's just a simple way to help you break up these different subtopics into specific months where you can do all of your planning and your scripting and your recording. So next up, I have a tab here for writing out all my scripts and different questions I ask myself. But this view with all these different rows mapping to pillars and topics and subtopics and hooks and different questions I ask myself is just too much to handle. So what I did was is I used the Airtable interface feature, which allows me to create a more user friendly interface to interact with the data. So instead of seeing all those tabs, all those columns, all those different rows, I see a simple script generation tool with my pillar, my topics, my subtopics, and my scripts here. And then for each of these, I have a system at the top to do filtering that just makes everything a whole lot easier. So we already talked about pillars and topics and subtopics. So I'm going to jump into scripts right now. So if I jump into scripts, what we're going to see is that I'm grouping together the different styles of scripts that I'm going to be creating. So again, I have problem aware, and then I also have agitation, and then I also have solution based content that I'm going to be creating. And then I can also use these filters to really hone in on what I want to talk about for a given month. So if I'm going to be creating videos in March, I can come to the month here and I can just type March. And now this is going to limit what I'm going to see so that I can just see the amount of content I need to write just for March. And so if you remember the system that I mapped out earlier here, I'm going to create one type of content for each subtopic. So that's going to give me 18 different scripts that I can use to record videos and batch those together and create those for the entire month. If you want to create more, obviously you can just tweak the amount of content styles that you do. Or if you have another subtopic, then you can just include that and that will affect the number of scripts that you create as well. 
well. The truth is, if you can create 18 videos in one sitting, you're in really good shape. So now what I do for each different type of content, I ask myself a specific question. And the reason why I do this is because these questions are designed to get me thinking about my target market, not so much about the expertise that I have. And when I get myself thinking about my target market, it's a lot easier to create content. So for the problem aware content, I'm usually asking myself, what symptoms are my target market experiencing right now? And what is it that I believe they need that might be controversial? I'll get into a quick example here in a second. But then for agitation type content, I usually ask myself, what is their desired outcome? What are they doing wrong? And what should they do instead? And then for my solution based content, this is usually where you're talking about results or case studies or results that your clients got. I usually ask myself, why should they listen to me? What outcome would they have if they did what I said? And what will solve their problem? So in this case, I'm just going to go through one example here just to show you how that script writing process is pretty simple when you go about using this tool and then also asking yourself this question. So in this case, we're talking about business revenue and inbound leads and what symptom are they experiencing? Not able to generate inbound leads from content. And then what do I believe they need that might be controversial? It's not enough just to create content like everyone says. So there's a little bit more to behind that, but you know, everyone just says, hey, if you create content, you're gonna grow your business, but it's not actually that simple. Because we see lots of people out there creating a lot of content, but they're not actually generating any income from it. So now what I would do is I would stay focused on just answering these questions. I wouldn't actually try to write out a script yet. I wouldn't try to come up with a hook. I would just go through each of these different topics and subtopics and answer those questions for the six different content styles here for problem aware. Then I would go through agitation, and then I would go through solution. And so I really stay focused on these questions. I really haven't thought about how I'm going to actually script it out. And so I can just go through and get the core information I need to create those scripts. And so when I am ready to actually write out the scripts, I can come over here and click this little button here. And this is going to open up a place where I can actually write out that script and also help me select a hook and then also help me remember the main questions I was asking myself. And here I have a drop down that gives me access to a bunch of different hooks that I can select from. And you'll see here that why you aren't is the top. If I selected something else, you need to do this. And so then I can start to connect the dots and actually write out the script over here. So then what I might do is I might just grab this and cut and paste this over into the script area. And then I could just say you need to do this to generate inbound leads from content on social media. And then I can just get right into it. It's not enough just to create content like everyone says, like Gary V. A lot of people spend a lot of time creating content with no results. Other people create content that grows their business very quickly. The key is to create content that relates to your target markets pain points or symptoms they are experiencing in day to day life. If you just create how to or tips and tricks content, it won't lead to revenue because your target market doesn't yet know they need that information. So in a way, I was just able to quickly create a TikTok script or an Instagram Reel script. It's very short, very much to the point. And it really starts off with the symptom that my target market is actually experiencing. And then it would be very easy for me to go back to the scripts and then go to the next one, do the same thing on that one, and then just keep going down the list until I was done. And then if I wanted to, I could actually use this same list when I'm recording, and then I can come up here and open this up. And then once I've actually recorded it, I can click record, and then I can come back here. And then I can use the filters here to make sure that I'm only showing myself the scripts that I have not recorded. Go ahead and use Airtable to map out these different things that you need to keep track of, and then use their interface tool to make it nice and user-friendly where you can map out the pillars and the topics and the subtopics that you need to think about. And then a nice page to help you actually write those scripts out where you can filter it down to either a specific month or to specific topics, whether you've recorded it or not. And then being able to click into that page where you can select a hook and then take the information that you entered on the previous screen to create a powerful script and whether or not you've recorded it or not. So there you go. I hope you found that video valuable. Make sure to check out the next video where I actually use chat GPT and automation. I show you step by step how to get it going and how to install everything. I use chat GPT and automation to completely create social media posts and descriptions for my YouTube videos. Make sure 
sure to click on that video. Enjoy it, and I'll see you there.